Alright, welcome to opening night, opening day, uh, Black Panther, Wakanda forever. Uh, got a big crowd, I think it's sold out tonight. Uh, here are all the character posters for this film. Um, trying to get down to that baby over there. Um, but yeah, that's got plenty of time finally getting uh, the time right um, but we got IMAX today uh, Black Panther Wakanda forever Let's cross our fingers but who started it all Blade Blade was the man who started it all yeah Wesley Snipes shout out to Wesley but we got IMAX today, uh, Black Panther, Wakanda forever. Uh, Namora. Comic book, she's really badass, so let's see how she translates. For IMAX, uh, 3D, Wakanda forever. Uh, let's zoom back in on Mount Fuji. Uh, there we go. Shout out to Wesley Snipes. Uh, Black Panther, Wakanda for Shooty story is a good story, but it's execution. A leader and losing them right here knows what it's debris. That's, that's a tightrope they're walking. Alright, there's the uh, principal poster for Black Panther, Wakanda forever. Uh, let's go through the characters. We got uh, Ramoda. The great Angela Bassett. Uh, we, got, we got Everett Ross. Uh, Annika. Amo. Uh, Riri Williams. Uh, Ironheart. Uh, Namora. Comic book, she's really badass, so let's see how she translates in the film. Uh, another principal poster. For Wakanda Forever. Uh, Atuma. Their prince name or himself. Uh, here the... The, uh, what would you call it? The main uh, promotional item for... Uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. All the principal characters. Um, let's take a look here. I don't know. I think uh, Namor as an Aztec serpent god rather than the king of Atlantis. Should be really interesting. Uh, let's see what else we got here. That's yeah, pretty good. I, mean, uh, I think they shelled out a bit more for Thor, uh, Love and Thunder. Let me fix the mic there. Yeah. Just a moment. Back, fix the mic. Yeah, I go got Wakanda forever. It's pretty good looking promotional item there. Uh, I'm just gonna squeeze through, pardon me. Um, check it out from the other side. But remember, who started it all? Blade. Shout out to Wesley. Um, hope you, he'll be back uh, in the MCU. But all right, we're on the 12th floor. For IMAX uh, 3D, Wakanda forever. Uh, let's make our way. Okay. We are well ahead of schedule, and oh my goodness, look at this sunset. Gotta love going to uh, IMAX theater on the 12th floor in Tokyo, and just look at that sunset. Oh my goodness, look at that. We got Mount Fuji just over there, here. Okay, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna zoom in. Just give me a second. Okay, there we go. We got Mount Fuji there, all the way in the background. That is a beautiful sight, isn't it? Oh my goodness. Okay, zoom out there, and oh, it's just beautiful. Holy cow! Let's zoom back in on Mount Fuji. Wow, that 
that is... Uh, I think uh, Japan has some of the most um, unmatched beauty, natural beauty in the world. Um, don't mean to put down any other country's um, natural beauties because I'm sure they're all beautiful, but uh, Mount Fuji, uh, just an amazing sight, fantastic. Here we are back in uh, Grand Cinema Sunshine, 12th floor of um, the building here uh, for the IMAX. I think I'm going to go get the uh, picture of today's film, Black Panther Wakanda Forever, uh, before the crowd starts uh, coming in. Let's have a look here. Yeah, there we go. We got the uh, Wakandans here. Shuri, um, Angela Bassett. And, oh, sorry, I'm kind of forgetting their names. Um, a beautiful actress, uh, Ngoya. Sorry if I get the name wrong. Uh, but there we got um, uh, Namor the Submariner. Uh, this time, Aztec God. Yeah, it should be fun. I'm yeah, hoping it it's be fun. I mean, so far the Marvel stuff has been just, just really terrible. Um, but hopefully they'll focus on mythology and internal conflict rather than, you know, all that kind of agenda, political stuff. Um, but yeah, you know. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, looks like they're getting ready here. They got the uh, 3D glasses out. Looks like uh, promotional posters for the IMAX presentation. Um, um, I mean, like, uh, I IMAX tickets are quite exorbitant, so might as well get something out of it, like a uh, promotional poster. So yeah, just a few minutes and uh, we're on our way. Shout out to Wesley Snipes. All right, there's the uh, the bell. Start letting everyone in. Okay, let's go check out uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Um, after the clips they've shown on YouTube, really have low expectations for this film. It kind of looks really cheap and just... I don't know where the story is going to go. But, yeah, you know, let's check it out. I got a... Okay. Oh, hi. I got a... Yeah, glasses. Uh, oh, yeah, catalog. There's, There's a, a uh, hobby store in Tokyo where you can pick up all this uh, Marvel merchandise. Um, yeah, and the IMAX poster for the film, but yeah, there's that speaker out in the corner, is my favorite speaker. Theaters in Tokyo. There you go, there you go, 316, C16. Shout out to uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. We're going to be uh, up close and personal with uh, the Wakandans and the. Uh, they're not going to be called Atlanteans this time. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that film was a mess. Just a mess. Just a mess. 
you had a story there, but um, started pretty much two thirds in the film. Um, I think Shooty's story is a good story, but its execution was. I don't. I mean, definitely Shooty had Shooty's story was probably um, you know the best part of focus on the film, but. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. That, was, that film was just a mess, just all over the place. Holy cow! I mean, tonally. I mean, we're de we're dealing with loss. I mean, loss and loneliness. Um, not just kind of super heroics, but uh, trying to. You know, the ancillary characters all pretty much just kind of uh, comic relief. Um, I don't know, just the, 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 there wasn't any kind of consistent tones and then that, you know, Disney MCU formula, that, you know, just a big old fight scene at the, uh, the end of the film and everything is all right Ugh. i mean aren't they getting tired of making uh telling the same story pretty much oh my goodness yeah i don't know i mean uh, all this uh, they're just they're just giving us the same thing again and again and again I mean, it's getting pretty exhausting to watch the mcu now it's just they totally had no uh, idea about why these characters and why these stories lasted for decades. I mean, holy cow. <laughs> All I gotta say is, if you want to see a good film, you see RRR. Or even Top Gun Maverick. I mean, those two films are, I mean, they know how to do the proper type of, you know, uh, repetition, variation, uh, pacing, uh, you know, the right tonal, the right notes, um, more musical. Uh, this one is just uh, a mixtape of, mixtape of just, you know, songs that you might like to listen to while you drive down the highway. It, it, wow, what a mess of a film. Uh, <laughs> RRR, that's a film to see, I'm telling you. Um, but I think just, just as a reaction, I mean, there's still a lot of process in the, uh, the film, but, but, you know, coming out feeling as uneasy about the whole, the whole situation, taking someone's uh, real, oops, gotta fix them right there, someone's, you know, real, I mean, re real passing away and then, you know, Putting it in the film like this, it's just, it's so manipulative. <laughs> Holy cow, is it's like... <sighs> what, are, what, what are the Disney and MCU people thinking? Holy cow, are there no adults, uh, you know, writing these stories now? Like, do they realize about, you know, how deep loss is and... And how you know it isn't that simply resolved. You you lose someone you love like that. It's just it, it, it it's it's juvenile. Holy cow! I can't believe I feel as angry about this film as I uh, had about any other film. It's 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 just wow! It it it's so it's very two dimensional and it, it's very shallow in its uh, perception of. Uh, you know, being a leader and losing people you love, it's just a, what a, wow, crap with a capital C, that is just a mess of a film, holy Toledo, Ohio, oh my god, okay, now there's a film, right here, R, 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 now this, this film right here knows what it's doing when it comes to lo uh, loss. I mean, the story of Rama right there, Rama. The story of Rama 
recovering from the loss of his father. And, ah, uh, do you know, the, it, this, the, this is a film. This is a film to watch. Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I mean, it, it's just another addition to, uh, you know, Disney Plus streaming. It's, you know, it, it's, it's cinematic. No, n nowhere near cinematic like RRR. I'd really recommend RRR. Yeah, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. I mean, as a story of, of loss, losing people you love, um, you know, you can't fault uh, the actors and actresses who all did a very good job uh, in the film. But it, it kind of just scratched my head. I mean, there's been a lot of movies dealing with, um, uh, you know, issues like this uh, of loss. But for, for the most part, and especially in like popular cinema, like, um, you know, like, like the MCU. I mean, for the most part, um, stories about men and their loss uh, whether it's going through war or so on you see that and it's true in real life too that a lot of the times when people dealing with loss they are very uh, alone and not just with, with, with other people but uh, resources as well I mean I mean it, 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 it's it, it's something that played in my head while watching the film because uh, you have Shuri who loses her uh, her brother and, and her mother. Um, but she has all the resources available to her uh, to help her deal with not just the loss, but going to war, um, you know, later on in the film. And I think a lot of uh, past stories, I mean, the very effective stories that have lasted generations, especially about loss, is that you know, the, the, the character is going through that and they have very little in terms of uh, resources and support. And watching that, because that's what most of us are going to have to deal with uh, later on in life. So, I don't know, it was just really hard to kind of feel... Um, I mean, I mean to, to feel uh, kind of sympathy for Shuri. The actress is great, don't get me wrong. I mean, she was fantastic in the film, but uh, the, just the way the story arc went, I mean, I don't know, I just felt it really does not, I mean, after watching RRR and Rama and Beam's story of their loss, I mean, really pulling for them to uh, achieve their goals. But I don't know, this uh, black... Black Panther Wakanda, it was just, it, I mean, it, it was just kind of like paint by numbers. It was really flat, um, not feeling really deep sympathy, but at the same time using, uh, you know, the memory of the, the late, you know, uh, Chadwick Boseman. That's, that is a little bit of a slippery, that's, that's a tightrope they're walking there because I don't know if they should have used... Uh, uh, use that in in the film. It it it's yeah I don't know. It just made me feel really uncomfortable with uh, everything that was going on in the film. So yeah, I don't know about Black Panther: Wakanda Forever. Um, again, I I can't recommend enough. Uh, great film, R R R. I mean, that's a film that really does. Um, that, that type of story of, of loss and coping with loss and uh, being a leader um, much much better than uh, Wakanda Forever so yeah RRR um, if you have to choose RRR Wakanda Forever I'd really recommend RRR thanks for listening